Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Toke, and this is my little anime corner review on Invincible episode six. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was it was a pretty Debbie Downer episode. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of sad mid emotions going around. Um, you know, they uh. They successfully completed that mission on, um, you know, stopping the, um, the Stoid Hive or whatever, or say, 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 what is it, say Stoid Hive, um, you know, from reaching Earth, but they lost, um, they lost a quite few, uh, fellow colleagues along the way, um, back at base because of a uh, king's lizard uh infiltrate fucking that shit was wild too man he um he blew red's brains out and red still ends up uh wrecking him you know um shrinking ray kind of made it out alive after getting fully fucking ate and eaten um duplicate though she she died yeah she died um rest in peace fucking that shit ends up fucking up immortals uh whole mindset man he's he's just like filled with rage um donald's also filled with rage man because he's you know his his emotions are just through the roof because he just can't believe what uh cecil did to him and whatnot but you know, at this point, it's a lot of shit that um, Cecil has done that you know is it doesn't it doesn't blow my mind anymore. You know, it's fucking it's Cecil, man. He's he's a manipulative asshole. You know. <laughs> um, speaking of which, he's still trying to somehow um, you know. Uh, get his little and put his get put his little input in on the um the baby the little baby alien um uh, March's fucking little half brother or whatnot, you know. He's trying to get his fingers on every little thing, you know, keep keep his, you know keep his uh his claws, you know, uh wrapped around every little situation. So um he steady is just trying and trying to uh proceed to um push uh upon Debbie as far as her, you know, taking care of the baby and trying to let her know that he uh can help out and all this shit. But she doesn't, you know, she she's not letting that shit fly, not a bit. She's kinda she kinda did uh you know, towards the middle of this episode, just a little bit, I don't know if it was a complete success with, um, the whole nanny, um, hiring that she was doing, um, she ended up coming across this lady named April that Cecil sent, but she was, she was straight up, uh, honest with it at the doorstep, like, you know, Cecil sent me, but, um, you're, you know, you're my boss, pretty much, I'm, I'm here to follow your, you know, follow your say, your doings, not his, you know, he just, he just informed me on the whole spill of things, you know, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know how I still feel about that one, man, because Cecil, like I said, he's just a, he's just a fucking asshole, he's a motherfucker, man, um, and then you got Mark, man, Mark's over here, like, like I said the last um on the last video, he's he's really struggling um to just like balance between a hero, um, a college student, his relationship with Amber, fucking even, you know, just personal personal relationships like as far as with his mom and shit and the baby. His half brother is just it's a lot on his plate, man, and he's um 
he's starting to get a tad bit um, overwhelmed and um, looking elsewhere for answers, but he needs to, uh, he kind of needs to, you know, um, approach each situation piece by piece and, you know, handle it that way instead of all trying to clam it together and handle it all at once. This is not going to work out that way, Mark. You're, <laughs> you're, um, you're a superhero, but you're not, you know, you're not that guy, but so, <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a lot, it was a lot, this episode, fucking emotional-wise, emotional and mental-wise, it, um, it took, um, it took, what's the name, uh, I forget, Eve, it took Eve to even, uh, make it clear to Amber that, you know, y'all, y'all relationship is what you make it, you know, so, yeah, they, uh, they just need, they just really need to, uh, get a structure around things and, uh, go about things accordingly as it seems, you know, um, also Mark ends up fucking finding some, um, uh, some books of his father's, um, they were like some sci-fi novels that he ended up, uh, writing, Nolan en ended up writing, Omi Man ended up, uh, writing back in the day when, uh, Mark was still a kid, um, and those are actually you know, kind of useful from what, uh, Mark has read, um, they, he feels they are, like, connected to the actual Viltrumite and, um, giving a, you know, explanation on how to kill them, you know, how, how, how they're, you know, how they work, how the whole Viltrumite work and whatnot, and, um, with that, he fucking, you know, informs Alan, because Alan ends up coming to Earth, you know, for, uh, for Mark to bring him back to, uh, his leader, fucking Theodos or whatever, and, um, you know, Mark straight up shuts him down, like, no, like, bro, I, I just came back from space, like, let me breathe for a minute, man, I get it, you know, I want, I want this shit to be, you know, put to an end before it, it gets out of hand, but it's like, I need to handle shit here on Earth, I need to handle my life here amongst Earth, like, um, I don't know, know what to tell you, but <laughs> you can scan these butts and, uh, show your, show your leader, you know, the, the um, that shit, and maybe that'll be useful, but, until there's like an actual, um, you know, war at hand or fight, fight, you know, coming about, a real fight, um, I'm not leaving Earth right now, <laughs> uh, so, you know, he's, uh, like I said, man, he, he's really trying to juggle a lot right now, Mark's trying to juggle a lot, and, uh, also, you know, with that, man, it's like, damn, he, he got to see his father again, but that shit's even fucking with him, because it wasn't the closure he wanted, you know, and now he's, um, he, he's still, he's still probably thinking in the back of his head, you know, no, it's not even probably, he is, he's, 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 he's still, um, comparing himself to his father, in a sense, even with the whole, um, just, balancing life situation because he feels like with amber he's is just you know it's not fair for her she deserves better you know all this type of shit you know he, he's he's feeling like he's feeling just like his dad you know in that sense um it's just yeah it's just wild it's wild for that for a uh, a kid that that young to handle all that responsibility man um 
what else? Fucking. Oh yeah, at the end we got we got to see uh, Ainstorm. He fucking he's he's about to he's about to be a menace again. Pull leg up in the scene, who, wherever he pulled up to. Like they, I just they they seen this man was getting fitted in the tuts and and then fucking you know made his exit through a whole bunch of portals and that was it. You know he he ended up landing in this one. I don't even know universe or I don't know where the fuck he's at, bro. But I know he's about to be a menace to society wherever he goes. Um, also, fucking, we got to see that no one's alive and well, but he, you know, he's imprisoned. And um, General uh, Craig or whatever, like the General of Viltrumite, he tries to offer him another chance to rejoin them, you know, and make up for his mistakes. But Nolan, um, he he he's kind of got a uh, he's kind of got a sympathetic heart now, uh, fucking around with those humans for so long. Uh, yeah, he's um, he's he's not he's not a ruthless Viltrumite like they used to know type of deal. Um, he, and, and that still like worries me because the way he he reacted and was so cold hearted at the end of the last season, like man, I can't even imagine what he was before that. You know, before he came to Earth, like bro, man, that boy on me. <laughs> um, also, so what was it this the say quid say quid ends up. Fucking somehow finessing back into the scene, took control of uh, Shape Smith. I don't even know how that came about. He pleaked this fucking um, Martian Shape Smith dumbass was puking all in his sink. I guess that brought about a sacred, or I don't know, bro. I don't know. Or they may have left the uh, Martians that ended up trashing his place. He was cleaning up his his home. Uh, when they the scene from the scene they showed him, he was cleaning up his home. I guess the Martians uh had came there and trashed his place, um, prior to or whatever, some shit like that. But um, yeah, man, they fucking um, Saquid ends up jumping out of the sink. Of, Feel filled with throw up and you know alien Martian throw up alien throw up and take control of Shade Smith. So we're gonna see how that plays out as well. Um, I kind of feel like fucking I don't know. This is a fifty fifty. I'm just throwing this out here, but I feel like Eve got a little. She got a little secret um crush. You know she got some she got some hidden feelings for Mark. I don't know. The way they were acting, um, this episode was kind of awkward. Very weird. I don't know. Who knows? I'm just calling that out. I, I peeped that real hard. But, um, yeah, man. Hopefully the Guardians of the Globe can get their shit together, man. Because their team uh, is kind of falling apart from the looks of it. Fucking and Cecil trying to, uh, you know, hold it together by going, trying to, uh, recruit Eve, um, you know, telling Immortal, you know, he needs to go, uh, enjoy himself and have a vacation, get his mind off things, because, like, yeah, they, uh, they two, they past two missions have been very challenging, and, um, you know, just a uh, bit much of a toll on their physical and mental aspect. So, yeah, that's where we're um that's where we're at for this episode, man. Like and subscribe, support the motherfucking corp. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode as well. And uh, I'll be back later on with some more vids. So stay tuned for that. And so be it. Toodles.